Hi guys, what a NAMM show it's been. I'm your host, Jill Nicolini, and I'm back here with you for the fourth and final day of the 2018 NAMM show. Everyone in the MI industry really seems enthusiastic, and I know that dealers and manufacturers alike did an awful lot of business at this year's show. Awesome. Today's broadcast is in Highlights Edition, so spotlighting some of the biggest, most important stories that we've covered during the last three days. As always, we're broadcasting not only throughout the convention center, but also in thousands of official convention hotel rooms, as well as across the globe through mobile devices. So you might be watching me on TV right now, or on a desktop, or laptop, or a smartphone, tablet, who knows where else. Well, thank you. However, I just want to thank you all for doing that, and of course, supporting Convention TV at NAM. Right now, let's get started by rewinding some of the biggest headline news from the past three days. So QSC is celebrating 50 years, that is 50 years in this business. I have Chris with me, Chris Brolet, who is the loudspeaker product manager. Chris, tell me what's happening in this year, the special 50 year anniversary at QSC. Yeah, we're really excited. It's a it's a wonderful milestone for us. Uh, 50 and forward is our new motto for the year, celebrating the time that we've had. Uh, and we're celebrating that with the launch of a uh, brand new product, new loudspeaker line, the KS series. Uh, the newest in the line being the KS112, which is a 12 inch, 2000 uh, watt subwoofer. Uh, more compact, but really powerful and loud. That adds our newest model, the KS212C, which is a cardioid directional subwoofer. So now we have a line of subs that are interchangeable. So depending on what your application is, you can use them with any of our top boxes and not worry about which one goes with which. That's not the only 50th anniversary going on around here. Break on through to the other side with the Doors 50th Anniversary Songbook from Alfred Music. It has all of the lyrics, guitar tabs, and signature keyboard and bass parts from the Doors' first six albums under legendary frontman Jim Morrison. So if you want to wail like Robbie Krieger and Raymond Zarek, this book has you covered. It also features a collection of color photographs documenting the band's history from its 1967 debut to the release of its 1971 album, L.A. Woman. This is something for every Doors fan. You're going to need it on your coffee table. Comes in authentic guitar tab, keyboard, and vocal. Play the music of your favorite band. We work very closely with the band's management to make sure that we got this just right and that we were authentically representing the band. Finding tone is a really important thing for all guitar players and for me when uh, it came time for me to really discover my own tone, make my, my own signature sound, there was no thrash metal at the time. I was my own island out there and just this snotty kid with a really raunchy sounding guitar. The Dave Mustaine Signature Thrash Factor from Seymour Duncan lets you turn your guitar sound into a symphony of destruction. This modified JB humbucker recreates the unique tone of the guitar Mustaine used when he recorded Megadeth's classic album, Rust in Peace. And now we have the exact model of the pickups that made Rust in Peace. Before we head back to the studio, I've got some big news from Mackie. Matt, share the news with us. What's new in drivers? Awesome. Well, we actually have our brand new MP series. It's our first foray in the in-ear monitor category. We have three models in the lineup. That's our MP120, which is a single dynamic driver, our MP220, which is a dual dynamic driver, and our MP240, which is actually a hybrid design. It includes a dynamic driver and also a balanced armature driver all in the same housing. Now, across the board, we did a lot of research before we brought these out, and we knew that they were made for artists and they'd have to have three characteristics. First, we knew that they have to sound great. Second, they'd have to be comfortable to wear for long periods of time. And lastly, we knew that they had to be rugged to handle whatever the road's going to hit them with. So each model shares the same industrial design, so they're all ergonomically molded to be very comfortable, maximum noise isolation, and sound great, right? And then secondly, we include MMCX connectors and a shielded braided cable for durability and high quality sound. And last but not least, we have all the accessories you need. Each package includes nine ear tips in small, medium, large sizes, and we include silicone, foam, and double flange for all of our, in all of our models. We also include an eighth inch adapter, and then we also have a hard molded plastic case to protect your investment when it's not in use. 
Jill, I have another big story for everybody. I am right now at Gator Cases, and they have some breaking news, and Crystal's gonna tell us all about it. Crystal. I am so excited to announce that we are acquiring Levy's Leathers. Um, it's a wonderful brand that we've watched for years and admired, and when I got the opportunity to meet them and meet the people behind it and see the beautiful quality of product they make, um, it just seemed like an awesome opportunity to come together. So very excited. Yeah, we're excited for you and it is beautiful quality product and I'm excited to see these two great accessory companies form a collaboration and Danica, tell us how you feel about it. Well, this is an incredible opportunity for Levies. We're really excited about this collaboration. Um, like Crystal, I've watched her grow her business over the years and she's done such a beautiful job. Um, her team is really amazing, really friendly, really professional. They get the job done and they have fun while they do it. Uh, it's a family business and so is ours and it's just a, a perfect fit I think with the straps and the cases and the history behind both our companies. It couldn't be better. Yeah, I absolutely agree and I'm excited to see how this all you know moves forward. Thank you. Thank you so much. Electro Harmonix has reissued its Op Amp Big Muff Pie, first released in the late 1970s. The pedal was popularized by Billy Corgan of the Smashing Pumpkins, who used it during the recording sessions for the band's breakout album, Siamese Dream. The Big Muff is known for its grungy wall of sound distortion and is great for heavy rhythm playing and heavy leads. quality is always great with with the electro harmonics but I'm pleasantly surprised that it's like like sometimes reissues like I don't know they try to improve something or whatever the, the magic's still in the box so I could still get what I'm looking for and we'll be back in just a moment Ampeg introduces two all new additions to their pedal lineup the liquefier analog chorus delivers lush tone and rich chorus sounds thanks to its dual circuit analog design and for the ultimate smooth, vintage style tone and maximum sustain, the OptoComp Optical Compressor is the perfect addition to any bass rig. Stop by MPEG's Demo Room 201C and plug in. Bass players today are seeking a more portable, yet still powerful, amplification solution. We have the products bass players are looking for. The Trace Elliott Elf is the most powerful, gig-worthy bass amplifier ever made. Delivering 200 watts while weighing in under 2 pounds. Come see the best-selling line of bass amplification at the PV booth upstairs in room 201B. Jill, we are going to kick off today's show at the Bourne's Pro Audio booth. I am hanging with Chuck right now. Chuck, tell NAMM attendees what you want them to know. Okay, well, we've got a couple of brand new um, models that we're going to release. We've got our PSL motorized slide pot. It comes in 100 millimeter and 60 millimeter sizes. Um, has a lot of the same features as our PSP-01 that we released last year. Um, and then we also have a couple of guitar pot kits that we're releasing. One of them has push-pull switches and push-push uh, switches. The other one is just a mini guitar pot. Okay, so you can see that our, the model that we released last year is about a 32 millimeter height. The model we're releasing this year is only 25 millimeter height. And so this is in response to our audio um, and lighting customers who want something a little bit shorter profile that they can fit into a lower profile desk. Thanks so much. That's some great stuff, Melora. So what else is going out there on the show floor? Okay, Jill, what is going on right now is happening at the D'Angelico booth, and they've got something really exciting. For the first time in the country's history, they are debuting something brand new. Talk to me about it, Ryan. Sure. So, yeah, as you said, for the first time in D'Angelico's 85-year history, we are debuting solid body models. So, largely being known as a semi-hollow and arch-top company, we've kind of been waiting for the right time to make our foray into the solid body world. And so, this year, we are doing so with uh, three different models. So, this is the Atlantic. This is our single cutaway solid body. Um, you can see it has a slim profile to it and a deep belly cut, which keeps it lightweight. This is the Bedford. This is our flagship model in the solid body series. Um, it's an offset body type with the extended horn coming up the fingerboard for, for a nice body balance and the extended uh, lower right bout as well for the same thing. 
has a pretty unique electronic setup on here. We have a stacked single coil in the neck, so it's a single coil sound, but it still has the richness of a humbucker. And then in the bridge, we've got the humbucker. So your shared setting on your three-way toggle switch is a really, really unique um, balanced sound. And then you've also got push-pull tone knobs on this um, so that you can split either your stack or your humbucker and you get a really, really spanky, slappy sound too. And then this is the Ludlow. This is uh, probably the most unique body shape in the collection. This is both an offset and a double cutaway with really effortless access to the, to the top frets. So you can hit the 20 second fret with, with a ton of ease. Very, very diverse range of guitars um, available at two different series to get as many players as possible trying them out. So we're very, very excited to de debut them. Tech 21's Doug Pinnock DP3X signature pedal has everything you need to recreate the King's X bass player's groundbreaking sound. Pinnock perfected his style in the 80s by running a bass and guitar amp together along with a full rack of effects. But this signature pedal packs all that tech into one 12 ounce box. The result is a combination of high end distortion and low end bass in a compact, road friendly package. Pretty cool. We developed this pedal with Doug. He has an instantly recognizable sound that he used to have to have a large amount of equipment to get. So we were able to basically distill that down into this tiny little pedal so he could travel and just bring the pedal to a gig with him and not have to bring all the other equipment. Uh, the green light's indicating now is that that's the clean channel and we have controls for compression, a three band EQ, with the mid-range has a, a shiftable frequency from 500 hertz to 1K, and a level control. Now it is two channels, so when you press the mix, it brings in the drive and chunk for the uh, distortion sound. Uh, we also have a built-in tuner. You can see right, right there, it's a chromatic tuner. Uh, that also mutes the quarter-inch and XLR outputs. And uh, the quarter-inch output can also be turned into a headphone amp by depressing that button. You're absolutely right, Jill, but you know who else is making a huge impression here at the show? It's Fender, and I have Mr. Justin Norvell with me to talk about what's going on in their big booth. All right, Justin, what's new this year at Fender? We have a lot going on. We have our American Original Series. What we've got here is the American Original 60s Jaguar in nice surf green finish. It's got vintage style pickups. It's got vintage style neck shape, but we also, and it's a lacquer finish, we also flatten the fingerboard radius and put slightly taller frets on it just to make it more playable. We've redone our hot rod amps. These are the best selling tube amps of the last 20 years. So we're taking the most popular tube amps and we're giving them some cosmetic tweaks as well as some circuitry tweaks to just tighten them up and enhance them. This is our new line of pedals that we're debuting at the NAMM show. We've got a reverb, a delay, a distortion, a dual channel overdrive, a compressor, and a buffer. We've also got a California series acoustics that apply our color and our Fender headstocks to really make an acoustic guitar for someone who wants something different. Celestian's F12 X200 loudspeaker is designed specifically for guitarists who use amplifier modeling technology. It combines the flat frequency response of pro audio speakers with the immediacy of traditional guitar speakers. This allows guitarists to enjoy the instant fingers to music connection of their favorite amp while enjoying the limitless options their software provides. It's for guys who are using digital modeling amps, profilers, that kind of thing. They would ordinarily use a full range flat response speaker, but the F12 offers something different. It gives you the, the live feel of a guitar speaker, but you still get the frequency response characteristic of, a, of an FR LR speaker. We call it full range live response, um, and it's much more musical than the sterile cold PA speakers that one might use uh, ordinarily with a modeling amplifier. It gets you 200 watts of power handling, it's available as an 8 ohm speaker uh, and it'll drop into any standard guitar cabinet. Turn up the temperature on your drum technique with the new fire grain drumsticks from Promark. These hickory drumsticks are crafted using an ancient heat tempering process that increases the strength and durability of the wood. It turns the trace amounts of tree sap resin in each stick into an external armor that reduces chipping and denting. The result? Well, you can hit harder, if I only knew how to play the drums, and play longer with fewer broken sticks. That's cool. Well, we'll be back in just a couple of minutes with more NAMM show highlights from the past three days, so make sure you stay tuned right here. One. 
And the nominees are... I would like to present this to Sting. I always wanted to have a Les Paul. I never imagined that he would give me one himself. This diamond ring can be something beautiful. You know, the little statues and the plaques. This is a real award. T-Bone is the last train home, the last connection to all the golden inspiration that led me to this room tonight. That was deeply beautiful, y'all. You may ask yourself, how do I work? I just wanted the thrill of being someplace where people clap for microphones. Yeah, I like the music and the rhythm of a 12 blue. How many Les Pauls do you have to destroy to win the Les Paul Award? If it wasn't for Les, we'd probably all be playing acoustic guitars, you know, in mono. You truly have given me the opportunity to express the things that I felt in my soul. I'm going to remember this. I wouldn't change my life, but I would love to be able to remix it. Getting this award is, is very, very meaningful to me. I want to fly like an eagle to the sea. The guy who needs nothing but a guitar to say, here's who I am, Mr. Les Paul. Welcome back to the highlights broadcast of Convention TV at NAM. The program you're watching is independently written, reported, and produced by Testa Communications. Testa publishes the Music and Sound Retailer, DJ Times, and Sound and Communications magazines. And if you're one of the thousands of people who watch each week, Testa Communications is also the producer of e-newsletter. Ever since we shifted to a once-a-week format with five-minute shows, the newsletter has seen explosive growth. Everybody loves getting their weekly dose of MI News in just five minutes. And I've got to say, I absolutely love checking with you guys every Thursday. I hope you'll continue to join me throughout the new year here in 2018. Now, let's get back to highlights from the past three days of broadcasting. It's certainly been a NAM show to remember. So let's rewind. Audio Technica is back with another wireless win. It's fourth generation. 3000 series gives you the power and flexibility to operate in the increasingly crowded UHF frequency spectrum. These wireless mic systems have a functional range of up to 300 feet. They are available in two frequency bands, both of which offer a 60 megahertz tuning range. That's more than twice the tuning range actually offered by previous 3000 series models, and the new series is available in a variety of configurations, so you can design a unique wireless mic system for every application. Jill, Gary Boss, Audio-Technica, hanging out. Let's talk what's uh, different this year with the 3000 series. Well, actually, everything is different. It's a brand new wireless from Audio-Technica that happens to share the name with the old 3000 series. On the front end, this has a really wide 60 megahertz tuning band. That's going to give you a lot of flexibility. It has automatic squelch setting, which is real important. It also has a unique function where we have a button that we can program, and we can set that to a backup frequency. So if a performer or an entertainer encounters interference between songs, they can hit that button and switch to a new frequency. We have a new handheld design with interchangeable capsules with the new industry standard design and a new miniature belt pack. Chauvet DJ's Freedom line of wireless, battery-operated fixtures gives you the freedom to take your lighting rig wherever it needs to go. And now the line offers more options than ever before for even more freedom over your lighting design. It is a compact version of the very popular Freedom Par series of 100% wireless battery-operated fixtures. Just under six inches tall with a magnetic base to stick to drop ceiling frames and other metal surfaces. This thing is perfect for pin spotting and accent lighting. You can change the colors of all your fixtures installed up in the ceiling all at once, create amazing, exciting chases and strobes, or just make some subtle, elegant color matching looks. Comes in a charging case of four fixtures with the charger, ultimate convenience and flexibility.
every girl's crazy about a sharp dress mic and the signature edition V7B FG from SE Electronics is as sharp as it gets. This dynamic handheld vocal mic was designed for ZZ top frontman and certified rock and roll legend Billy F. Gibbons. You can tell by his signature on its all metal chassis. When it comes to tech, the V7B FG has everything you need for crisp open sound and it will definitely turn some heads. Thanks to its custom chrome finish and royal purple windscreen. Well, as a girl who loves a microphone and also loves ZZ Top, I'm very excited about this next product. I'm here with Jonathan Pine at SE Electronics to talk about their V7 BFG microphone. Jonathan, obviously this is a beautiful microphone, but besides its beauty, tell me what we need to know about it. It's a hypercarded microphone, which means that you're going to get a little bit more rejection and a little bit less feedback in any situation. One of the things that we love about it, it has a very neutral response. It's quite flat in the mid-range, but has really nicely opened up in the high end. So a very cool thing about this is a built-in internal shock mount which means you don't need an external one, it's built right in, so that means really low handling noise for the microphone. We also love the fact that this is Billy's first signature microphone and the first signature product we've ever done. Smart Guitars has reimagined its standard series guitars in the most significant update to the company's flagship guitar line in 185 years. Standard series guitars have been the instruments of choice for legends like Johnny Cash, Tom Petty, Dolly Parton, Joni Mitchell, Kurt Cobain, Eric Clapton, and countless others. The reimagined series includes a modern, high-performance neck shape that is thinner and more comfortable for the player. The new guitars also feature vintage accents like open gear tuners, as well as some tweaks to their internal features. The end result is a fresh take on a modern classic. So the standard series, we reimagined it like we did the D28 back in Nashville. So if you think about it sounds better, it looks better, and it plays better. It looks vintage, but it still has modern playability because we put a high performance taper on the neck. We moved the braces forward, which is called forward shifting, and that really helps it to get a more full sound but still balanced and powerful when you play it. Lastly, we have antique white binding which really wraps the whole package together and again gives us that vintage meets modern look. What we did then was we took that theme all the way through the standard series and we're really happy with it. We hope you are too. Yesterday, Jill, we broke some big news with this company but we are not done with Gator cases. Today, Brian, let's talk about product. All right, so in addition to growing our line of um, our family of brands, we also have a lot of exciting new stuff coming out on the Gator side, including a uh, USA-made line of roto-molded rack cases, our G-Pro series. Uh, these are made in our own facility in Indiana. They're made of a heavy-duty polyethylene plastic, uh, really sleek design, and they are stackable. Uh, they have Pen Elcom twist latches and full front and rear threaded rack rails. And then we also have a really cool new uh, stand in our Frameworks line. This is called Stanley. It's a clip-on guitar stand. Clips to the bottom of the end pin on your acoustic guitar. Basically makes a foot that your guitar can stand wherever you go. We've got a whole lot more highlights to bring you, so don't move. We'll be right back after this. Ah, oh, the name is Bootsy, baby. Hey, to all my funketeers out there. Did y'all know ukuleles are big nowadays? Take a look at this. Mackie's best-selling powered loudspeaker just got better. The all-new Thump series features more power and all-new hardware designs, plus a companion-powered subwoofer. Thump Boosted models feature a digital mixer with advanced DSP and is the only speaker to offer wireless streaming, linking, and control. The next evolution of Thump is here. How sweet it is. Zildjian has just unveiled its K-Suite collection of symbols. This extension to the company's K family adds nine new models, including new rides, crashes, and hi-hats. These symbols are larger in size, but thinner than their K family counterparts, resulting in a darker and warmer tone with more sound frequency. And like all Zildjian symbols, the K-Suite collection is made in the USA. Many drummers are familiar with the legendary A Sweet Ride. So we decided to come out with not only a K version of the Sweet Ride, but an entire collection of sweet symbols. Uh, we have crashes, 16 inches through 20 inches. So five different models available in crashes. 
of 21 inch and 23 inch suite rides, as well as 15 and 16 inch K suite hi hats. So, what these are, are a little bit darker, a little bit more responsive versions of the A suite ride, but available in our K family of symbols. As a female who's part of the music products industry, I love seeing the ladies get their due. Well, last night, the 2017 She Rocks Awards honored some of the most incredible women in the world of MI and music. Here's a look at last night's event that rocked the House of Blues, Anaheim. Miss Exine Cervenko. <laughs> dreams and I think we all have dreams they don't always come true sometimes they're very unrealistic and I know now that my dream of becoming the first female pitcher in the major leagues is never going to happen because let's face it I'm just too old but if I was 12 thank you very much appreciate it She Rocks wasn't the only event to take place last night. There were tons more, including the Yamaha All-Star Concert on the Grand. Let's take a look at this star-studded event. Good to see you Namers out, all right. I found my friend RJ over here at the Flying Mojo booth. Robert, what are you guys introducing this year at NAMM? We're really excited to introduce our new Mojo filter pedal, which has a filter knob on it. And it's a screaming little machine, and it features the artwork by the legendary Alan Aldridge, the father of rock and roll art. And we have this special little clicker knob that you can just go click, 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 and get your settings where you want them without the knob moving. And uh, we love this pedal, the Purple Haze, which uh, we're kind enough to get Pete Townsend to sign it. And also, too, our Foxy Lady, which was written about Heather Daughtry. Jimmy wrote the song about Heather Daughtry, Roger's wife. And Roger's kind enough to sign this, too. And we're going to auction these pedals off for the Teenage Cancer Trust. Yeah, these are beautiful pedals. I love the design on them. But you know what I really love is your guys' partnership with Roger Daltrey and Pete Townsend of The Who, if you didn't know. Can you tell our viewers what you guys are doing with them? Uh, yes, I can. Uh, we partnered up with Pete and Roger for the Teenage Cancer Trust to uh, create some awareness and raise some funds. We're going to donate uh, all our pedals to be sold at an auction. And The Who has been kind enough to use our pedals at the Albert Hall. So we're pretty excited. I'm excited. That's awesome. Thank you. And we'll be back in a few minutes with our final segment of highlights from Convention TV at NAM and 2018 NAM show. Please stay tuned.
It would be a challenge for you to travel anywhere in the world without hearing audio produced by PV Electronics. Since 1965, PV has produced well over half a billion products. From the smallest garage band to the largest sound stages, PV has created the tools to amplify the soundtrack of your life. From theme parks, airports, houses of worship, and halls of state, PV personifies American innovation. Our mission is, and always will be, to provide innovative tools to amplify the sounds of your life. Yeah, it's been a jam-packed four days of business, music, and fun here at the NAMM Show. I've had a blast, and I'm so glad all of you are here to share it with me. And once you get back home, if you want to relive the 2018 NAMM Show experience, you can. Just click on to msretailer.com, then you can watch our convention TV at NAMM Shows again and again and again. I know you're going to do that, right? Come on, admit it. You're addicted. Okay, finally, let's get to the bit you've all been waiting for. It may be the most fun part of movies and is certainly the most fun part of this broadcast. The blooper reel. Let's check out the snippets from the cutting room floor that had everybody who produced this show in stitches. Jill, we're going to tick, tick off today's show, and I'm sure. You to start again? Yep. It's hard to remember stuff, you know. Gary, what can you tell me about this portable new speaker? Speaker. One, two, it's kind of a speaker, There's but we're, we're going to call it an amp. <laughs> okay. You are beautiful. Oh. Oops. <laughs> that is the biggest pile. Oh, it's not bubble wrap. Never mind. Oh. Doesn't that look fun if it was bubble wrap? Oh, that yeah. That was like a huge pile of. I what? know what I'd be doing the rest of the show. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You and me both, right? <laughs> you, me, and some bubble wrap. Okay. <laughs> Stop it. Tesla, one, two, three. <laughs> Such a dork. Clark from, excuse me, three. I want to say where you're with, yeah. where we are. And I am at, nope, three. Because <laughs> they're like a weird little dating service. Oh. This tube right here yeah. may not ever get along. Look with this one. It's swipe, swipe, swipe. That's swipe, so swipe. funny. <laughs> All right. We're going to shake it off. Shake it off. Big That's news of Mackie. What's the big news? What's the big news, Mackie? I used to be a disc jockey. <laughs> we used to have to cut commercials, and we were cutting a commercial for this local supermarket. And we did quite well until we got to this one thing. They had a special on frozen fish sticks. <laughs> Say that fast. Frozen <laughs> <laughs> fish Nailed it. Uh, these are modeled after our... <laughs> and we have a sale. <laughs> I should be like the one hit wonder. She makes me nervous. It's not true. How can, She's intimidating. How can I be intimidating? I'm like the nicest person. Uh, all right, ready? <laughs> not really. Here at uh, PVD. <laughs> You're doing so good. Uses less, just slightly more battery battery power than just a battery sitting on itself by itself. By itself. Ooh, love it. Don't put that on the blooper reel either. I love you. Go. All right, you go. Okay, here we are. Go. The PV booth. For, booth. The PV booth. Shh. They get so much amazing. I can't seem to get enough of my friend Fred Poole. <laughs> it's the frozen foot of PVC. What did Hartley say? Frozen, frozen oh, fi fish sticks. Frozen fish sticks. I'm having the frozen fish sticks. They have so much amazing product. Fred, <laughs> we did it. PV.com. That's it. We done. Well, that's it for the fourth and final day of Convention TV at NAMM. I'd like to thank the music and sound retailers Brian Burke and Anthony Vargas for both on-site reporting and for writing these shows. And, of course, major thanks to my TV cohort and good friend, Melora Donahue. From Tesla Communications to you, we wish you all the best in the new year. Health, happiness, peace, and prosperity to you and yours. I'm Jill Nicolini, and for everyone here at Tesla Communications, thank you for watching. Bye-bye. See you soon.